Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest and another episode of Cool Linux Tools. <laughs> That's just too fun to say. So, <laughs> Alright, so today's Cool Linux Tool is called Go For It. Now, at first hearing that, you might think it's like an exercise app or a workout app, but it's not. Now, I want to give credit where credit is due, and I found this particular app slash tool on OMG Ubuntu. And let's just go a down here to the developer and that is Manuel Kyle and I'm not pronouncing his name right I'm sure it's K-E-H-L Manuel uh, love your app here uh, so this is a simple to do app for Linux uh, with a built in timer and that is key to this instead of just making a list it does have a timer so let's jump into that I'll put a link here to the OMG Ubuntu page because they do have the links for the install for Ubuntu 1610 as well as the uh, PPAs that kind of thing and if you're running an Arch-based distro with the AUR, you simply do a search for go-for-it, and you'll pull that up in the AUR for your install. Very fast, simple install, very fast and simple setup. So that's um, one of the things I like about it. All right, let's jump in to go for it. Um, one of the first things you're going to see is this page when you launch in, and there'll be a few default um task here that are listed things like show the settings go into the settings folder things like that um, there is an illustration of of what you would see when you first launch in I had cleared those out um, in using this so I did set up one task here called show the settings now before we jump over into settings let's just talk quickly about the tabs here so you have to do timer and done those are your three tabs and then the settings icon to simp to add a task you simply uh, click here in this field and we could add a task uh, do another Linux video alright so um, just af after you've got that filled in here uh, and you can go back and correct as I'm going to here do another Linux video you simply hit enter and uh, now you've got an option here for this so you could select or highlight that task and then go into timer I'm not going to choose that one. I'm going to go to show to show the settings, and I'm going to go to timer. And I'm going to go ahead and start this. And there's a reason behind my uh, method of madness here, if you will. So I set the timer to two minutes. The default is 20 minutes. You can set that to whatever works for you based on the type of task that you're doing. Uh, typically, when you're you know working through a series of tasks, you have in mind about how long those tasks will take you. So you could set this up accordingly. Now this steps you through one at a time, so it doesn't allow you to go in and select multiple tasks with multiple times it allows you to kind of focus in on one task at a time and you can drag or move those tasks around in order uh, to you know top to bottom bottom to top that kind of thing alright so we have selected do another Linux video uh, I'm gonna select show the settings alright so that's now our active task and we'll go ahead and click start now we'll jump into the settings uh, menu from here. This is where you can choose the folder directory for the to do text file. Uh, the default is to do and that's in your home directory or you could set that up you know wherever you choose. Um, and then you can go in and set your task duration in minutes. Here I selected two because I want the process to go through while I'm filming so that you can see how things work. You can also set up a break here. I set up a break after one, one minute. So, you know, I'm going to work really hard for a minute and then I'm going to take a one minute break. Um, <laughs> anyway, so just wanted to illustrate how everything works. You can also set a reminder before the task ends. And I really like that because let's say you had a phone call that you knew you had to do. And so you get this reminder pop up that tells you, hey, you need to finish this thing so that you can, you know, then do your uh, phone call, for example. So again you can adjust that time in seconds so you you know you could set that up if it's a 10 minute task you could set it up to you know 60 seconds or or 120 seconds whatever works for you there now I had selected use a header bar I didn't see any changes or anything now this is a GTK based app and I'm running this in a QT environment under KDE so maybe it has something to do with that but I didn't see any changes in the header bar or anything like that but I left it on alright so those are your settings and uh, you'll see this is still counting down here and uh, what what I wanted to point out while this is running in the background so um, you can once you're finished with a task you can simply select in the box here that you're done you'll see it disappears 
All right, it says here, prepare for your break. You have 20 seconds left. So this was counting down to the one minute break that I set up. And you get a little pop up there. All right, so uh, we clicked one task is done. It disappears. Now it doesn't disappear completely. If you go over to the done tab, you'll see it with a line through it. Let's say you did that by mistake. You can simply uncheck it. All right, now we're seeing a pop up here. Let's take a break. So I'll pause. Let's think about a Linux happy place for a minute and then get back to work. All right, so, uh, but I wanted you to see the pop up there and how that works. Um, all right, so now that task, which we had checked as done, moved back into uh, the to do list. And so, again, we're going to choose done there and we'll go back in. And I want to illustrate. Uh, how you would clear this. So let's say you had four or five tasks that were done here. You could simply uh, take a quick look, make sure that yes, they're all um, you know complete, and then go into settings and click the clear done list. And when you do that, your completed to do slash task will completely disappear, and you'll be left with only the task um, you know at hand. So all right, so we're going to see a countdown here. And so we're going to see four, three, two, one, and it's going to pop up and, and tell us that our uh, break is over, and that we should uh, start the next task. And so we could go ahead and click start here, and then we'll get that countdown again to that active task. So I like this for its simplicity. I like that. Um, your, your timers are in place and that you can go in and customize your timers to really set them up so that they work with the task that you have at hand. If you're the type of person who, you know, really f likes to focus in and kind of clear your to-do list and, you know, for me, I feel really good. I feel accomplished when I've got things that have piled up you know, on me over the week, I feel really accomplished when I can go in and organize those tasks slash to do's and, uh, you know, really focus in and set a time for myself and say, hey, in the next three hours, I want to accomplish this, this and this. Um, and this is a nice tool for doing that. So, you know, I don't see this as something that you would probably use for, you know, your entire eight or 10 hour workday. Uh, but certainly if you've got a list of things that have piled up, you know, you've got that monkey on your back. Uh, this would be a nice way to organize those things and um, and push yourself through them and uh, I think feel accomplished in the end. So I'm going to go ahead and say that we showed the settings here so that task is done and hey I'm clear. I'm clean, clear and free for the day. I can, I can think about my ne next Linux distro. So anyway, hope this helps and uh, thanks for watching and we will check you later.